Yo, what's up, everybody? What's up, guys? Here we are on our awesome adventures, and we are building a Christmas present. Find out at the end. Action. We need three more. Oh, that's 80? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, let's work that in. There we go. Here we'll uh, keep it rolling. Watch. Take a peek at it. Sound look pretty straight. It's pretty straight. Oh, uh, that one's pretty warped, actually. See? Let's put this one back. Here's how you take a look at a board. Look right down the center of it. Does it look straight? That one looks pretty good. All right. Drop a comment down below if you know what we're making. All right. We got the stuff. And I'm sure we'll be back to the store a few more times. Let's do it. Alright, here we are. We got all loaded up here in the Subaru. Ashley's wondering what that is. That is sap. Because we just got a real live living tree right here to build the Murphy bed. It's all gooey. So yeah, uh, Slater, he's been asking for a Murphy bed. Because then he can do his uh, boxing. He has like three boxing bags in his room. And then he has a business in his room also. Look and at then... the sunset. Oh yeah, it's a beautiful sunset, right? So yeah, we're cruising, checking out the sunset. Enjoying this beautiful day where it's 70 degrees outside. And uh, check out all this wood that we fit inside the Subaru. You can fit anything into one of these things. Or up on top of one of them. Yeah, we were thinking about getting a little uh, tent popper upper on the top. And then we there. won't have our sunroof. Yeah, that's true. We'd miss out on the sunroof then, though. Are you excited to build this Murphy bed? Yeah. Have you ever built one before? Mm -mm. So, what do you think we should do first? Build the frame. That's oh, why we got the wood. Very smart. You are a beautiful and smart lady. So, uh, yes. I can't see you with your arm. Oh, yeah. I don't want this uh, two by fours to fall on top of you. <laughs> <laughs> so, first, we're going to build the frame. And then we're going to put some uh, plywood on it. And then we're going to build the cabinet. And then, bam. Slater's got his very own Murphy bed. So yeah, in life, you got to make sure every day you take moments to enjoy the greatest things in life God has to offer, which is your family and these gorgeous sunsets. You know, the free little moments in life that we have, you know. We got to make sure we never take those moments for granted. We got to cherish every moment.
later when we uh, come back here to build the uh, cabinet, we're gonna strap it up on top of the car. So that'll be pretty fun. But I think we should uh, unload all this wood and we should run to the park and play a quick game of basketball, kick the soccer ball around a little bit and enjoy the last little bit of this beautiful day. Whatever you do every day, like make sure you go outside every day. Like, you know, go outside. And comment what you um, do every day. Yeah, leave a comment down below and tell us like what you do every day when you're doing something that you enjoy doing. Maybe focus on things that you like to do that don't cost money. Maybe put that down in the comments, something that you love. Like maybe when you were a kid, even if you're older, you know, try to do something you did when you were a kid that was fun. Like for me, I can go play basketball. I love basketball. So it's one thing that I like to do. So drop a comment down below and tell us what you like to do. What do you like to do, Ashley? What else? I like baking. <laughs> like right now, like hungry. Oh, what should we have for dinner? Some like sandwiches from Subway. Ooh, does that sound yummy? Subway sandwiches sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or Jimmy John's. <laughs> Oh, yes. I never had Jimmy John's. Too. You haven't had Jimmy John's or uh, Comment. Cafe? Oh. Like and subscribe if you Jimmy had John's. Um, Jimmy John's. Yeah, what do you guys think's better? All right, we got Subway, Jimmy John's. Jimmy John's, definitely. There's a place uh, called Hungry Hobo. Um, what else do you have? Like, we don't have Hungry Hobo Yeah, like here. Poor Boys or something like that. What's that one place called? Nothing like a deli sandwich from New York City, though. Those are definitely the best. So yeah, here we are, Las Vegas. Like, we could go like anywhere to eat right now. Like, we got the Strip, all these beautiful restaurants. And we picked um, like Jimmy John's and yeah. Subway. Subway and Jimmy John's we're going with. I'm roll the window up so we can hear a little better. So, what do you want to play? Do you want to play basketball or soccer? Soccer! We got a soccer fan right there. Me, I love basketball. And actually, I actually like some basketball. What's your favorite sport? What do you guys like to play? I think some people are um, um, football fans. Yeah, a lot of football fans. Like, growing up as a kid, I loved playing football. I'll be playing backyard football like every day from uh, right when I wake up, right till I go to sleep. And, uh, Action. and uh, yeah, I play football all the time, baseball, anytime we could get enough people together. And I would always play basketball every single day. That was my favorite. You're really good at basketball. Like, you know, you're, uh, nine years old and you can already like shoot and make a several shots in a row that's pretty impressive hello my name is boo most pigeons would be kind of scared not our little buddy <laughs> our little pigeon funny is cool our little pigeon buddy. You're a little cutie. Yeah, you're a little cutie. Ah, uh, let's see if my little bird follows me. Coo 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 coo. Coo 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 coo. Look. What? <laughs> He's right there. <laughs> We, when our buddy first come around, we would always joke about it. And one day he would land up here and want to go with us. Wait, stop doing that real quick. Poor little guy. 
And then now here he is. Oh my god. Stop! I just want to see what he does. Alright, buckle up. Wow, he would peck it. Look at him peck at my hand. Buckle up for safety. Hi Felix. Okay. See you in a little bit, buddy. See if he follows us. Hold on tight, slow. buddy. Alright, we're taking off. He's officially driving with us right now. <laughs> look at him, look at him. <laughs> 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 He's doing this. <laughs> oh, what a cool yeah. bird, man. <gasps> He's on the ground. He just flew over to us as we were leaving to say bye again. Look at Jay goes, hey, Felix, come here. And then come he here. flew. Come here, up here. Hey, little buddy, we'll be right back. Come here, Felix. We'll be right back, okay? See you in a little bit. Stay there. Cuckoo! 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 He looks like a lost puppy. <laughs> <laughs> Poor little pigeon. He's don't sitting know what to on do. the ground. We've like, never seen him on the ground. He's like Isaac. looking at us like, where are they going? Are they coming back? I feel kind of bad leaving the poor little guy. <laughs> are they coming back? Look, Dude, he's, he's still there. He's you don't know what to in do. The of the road. He's not a real pigeon, I swear. I mean, this pigeon, I think it's a, a pigeon straight from heaven. It's his first time, like, being on Earth. You don't know how to be a pigeon. He's still in the middle of the road back there, just sitting there. All right, buddy, we'll be back. I hope he don't get hit. I know, the poor little guy. Ah, we should take him to the park with us. All right, girls, so what should we do? Should we go play basketball, soccer, or should we get some sub sandwiches? Sub sandwiches! I think that's the answer to that question. Um, I, I kind of missed the little bird a little bit already. You're going to imagine you do a U-turn. Yeah, do a big U-turn to go back. Make sure that our uh, wild bird is okay. So yeah, this bird, it comes every morning it stays on our uh, front door, and then uh, it'll come around to our backyard by our back door. And it's been with us for, what, over a month now? It's been pretty cool. And it's kind of neat, too. You uh, look up the significance of a wild bird landing on your shoulder or on you. And it, there's a lot of meaning behind it. A lot of spiritual meanings. And imagine back before technology and TV. Imagine like Indians or anybody outside. And all of a sudden they have a wild bird land on them. Like it, it actually used to mean something. Now somebody would be like, oh, this guy's crazy, man. This guy's lost it. But if you look back at one of our videos, I was showing my daughter the video that uh, Caesar's wife sent me and as she was praying four beams of light came down from heaven and right as I showed her that this bird landed on my head and my shoulder for the first time so it makes you kind of wonder about uh, things a little bit where this bird came from because I've never had a wild bird land on me I don't know if you have Drop a comment down below if you've ever had a wild bird land on you. And just look at the time, you know, I mean, here I am in the backyard showing Lily Jade the video that my friend, his wife had just sent me, and we had just attended his funeral. And the neat thing about it is, you know, in his movie that he made, it features a, a pigeon coop in Brooklyn. So I'll, I'll leave a comment uh, down below. You can check out his movie. He made a short film and a full feature film. And uh, it showcases these pigeons in a coop in Brooklyn flying around. And right after my daughter's mom passed away, Caesar told me about this white dove that swooped right over our heads as we were going to the mailbox. And he's like, oh yeah, that was a sign. That was a sign from heaven that that was Danielle. That was her. And uh, pretty neat. Pretty neat having a, 
a sign right from God, right from heaven. So in life, you know, make sure you believe in those little signs. I mean, don't believe in like any little sign you see, but believe in the real ones. Hold this a little bit, babe. Here we go. Because God is real. There's been like too many signs in the world, you know, to prove that he's not real. And uh, drop a comment down below. What do you think about aliens? Like now that we have the government saying that aliens are real. My mom always thinks um, aliens is real. Yes, she did, right? I remember when I talked to her for like five hours, one of the last times we talked, and she had a conversation with me about aliens. And it uh, makes you wonder with, you know, people like Tucker Carlson speaking out now about things that he knows about aliens that he can't even tell his wife about. So, kind of scary. I get to talking sometimes. And then we just start cruising. These girls want their food. All right, here we are. We're gonna get some sub sandwiches. Yay! What do you want, turkey, roast beef, ham? Turkey! Merry Christmas, guys. Okay. Thank you, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Thank you. Stick it for Santa. Did you hear that? Say good for Santa. So beautiful, I don't know if you can tell, but we're just in the parking lot coming out of the store and the sky is just so beautiful. It's a real pretty blue color. Enjoy more sunsets and sunrises. Can we pray right now? I'm hungry. Oh, you're cute. Check out that sandwich. Ooh, yeah. Mmm. There's mine. Stop getting your germs on it. Ooh, look at that cute little Barbie cup. All right, time to fry. Hey, what's up? I'm going to teach you how to make a Murphy bed in 60 seconds. It's easy. Hey, what's up? All right, here we are in the workshop. We're going to be making a Murphy bed. The girls are kicked back watching a movie helping me when I need them a little bit, but let's get to it. This is going to be fun. All right, here we are. Step one, frame it out. All right, here we are. Got the first step done. Building the frame. All right. All right, there's the frame. Got it framed out. All right, now I gotta use my grandpa's hammer. We got the uh, Murphy bed framed out real quick. And now, I'm just gonna... And then we're gonna cut these boards down here and that'll be the legs to the uh, folding part of the Murphy bed. All right, check in with you in a little bit. So basically make it easy, just frame it out with some two by fours. All right, easy stuff. So yeah, the legs will go in here and then they'll, they'll fold down. Pretty sweet. Ah. All right, check it out. So this will be the uh, legs right there. And now we just gotta finish putting this on. Hey, what do you guys think? Those will be the legs right there. A nice, easy Murphy bed. 
All right, here we go. Here's what we got so far. We'll cut the uh, legs down and we'll decide exactly how tall the bed is gonna stand. So far I spent $21, because I only spent $3 a two by four, seven two by fours. So we only invested $21 so far. All right, let's see what happens next. All right, so I finished most of the Murphy bed. Now we're just gonna do some of this fair stuff real quick. Go hang out. <laughs> How do you feel? Good. Look, right there, it's Santa Claus. Look. Do you see him? Yeah. There he is, right there. Actually, you should tell him you want a baby. This is retarded. Come on! Look, there he is, look. He's probably going to get some cookies, look. Should we go sneak up on him now? Yeah. He might know that. Maybe we should let him go make some presents. And the elf made presents.
Look, Santa loves dogs. It was a beautiful day. What do you guys want to do now? Drink water. One of them wants to go home, the other wants to drink water. You thirsty? Oh. Hey, little buddy. Hi. Can I kiss you? Oh, they gave a kiss. Ow! That <laughs> hurt! Women should get that. <laughs> Comment down below if you're a woman. Oh, he just pooped. <laughs> I'm not sure if you like Shadow or not. So we just got home and it's 10 o'clock and then um, I was going through presents to see how many I had and I was shaking them and then I find the elf on the shelf I almost grabbed him. He wasn't right there, he was like over here. And like he must have been giggling and laughing because like she was so close to him, like, going around every present except for the one that he was, like, hiding on. And she, like, almost touched him a few times. And uh, she had no idea. That was nice. funny. Ooh, yeah, that one's from your brother right there. Are you excited? Do you know what it is? No. Guys, do you hear anything inside it? All right, so make sure no matter what happens throughout the holidays that you enjoy the most beautiful things. And you in better life. be good yep. for Santa and go to sleep. All right, time to go to sleep. Santa's watching.